Pressure on third down. Lufau dumps it incomplete as the Rams were coming heavy after Seppo Lufau on third down. They're going to come through these gaps. There's your linebackers there. It's a lot of circles on that. Apologize, but watch 33 and 12. They're going to run through the A gaps. That pressure forces Lufau to try and get the ball out late backwards. Five. 17 yard pickup with a sophomore. Play action. Lufau steps. And incomplete. Nelson Spruce covered up on the outside. That time, just take a look up here. Here's Nelson Spruce. They don't have anybody that's open on this play. Just good play action on the boot coverage, but the safety goes over and brackets him. And Nelson Spruce, one of the things. Ross goes in motion. Play fake. Lou foul over the middle. Complete. There's Nelson Spruce. He has just enough for the first down. The senior who is leading receiver. Yeah, he's just going to be lined up backside and do what they call a drive route. When you're expecting man coverage, the way to beat man coverage is to isolate or to cross. This is a crossing route, and Spruce gets lost. The first completed pass of the game for Cepho Lufau in Colorado. Reverse. Spruce. Looks like he wants to throw it. Downfield incomplete off the hands of Devin Ross. The second pass I've seen him drop in these last couple games. I really thought that Spruce should have kept this. It's wide open if he wants to take it to pick up a first down. Now the pass is there as well. And in Ross's defense, it's behind him. And he's got to adjust and turn the other way right at their doing. Pressure up the middle. Lufau rolls away, back across his body complete. Spruce makes the grab, still on his feet. Spruce finally steps out of bounds inside the 20. Lufau to Spruce, bailing out the box. Just an unbelievable job of running the scramble drill. When you have somebody come back, he's trying to fight through him. He gets it, but he sees he's in trouble. When he comes back, he shows his numbers and shortens the difference in between. And then he tremendous balance to put his hand. Backfield, maybe a quarterback draw. It's that Lufau quick hitter on the slant. Spruce makes the grab at the 31 for the Buffalo's all-time leading receiver, the senior from Westlake Village, California, Nelson Spruce. What makes Nelson Spruce so good is he's a crisp route runner, good protection. Empty backfield, five wide receivers. Lufau can run, though. Lufau. Stays in the pocket, delivers to Nelson Spruce, who was out of bounds. Tell you what, Colorado State, Lufau just simply doesn't have any place to throw the football. Great adjustment that time by Spruce, goes up and get the football, but just not enough field there for him to get a foot down. That was the middle linebacker, Corey James, covering Nelson Spruce in third and medium. Trying to avoid three straight three and outs. Lufau. Dumps it. Spruce wrestled down as soon as he grabs it. Tyree Simmons tackles Nelson Spruce. The Buffaloes had the touchdown drive to begin the third quarter. This will be three straight three and outs. We talked about Corey James getting moved from outside to inside linebacker. Just a great job with an inside move. Beats the back. And he's really the one that applied to be run some screens. But with three timeouts, you can call anything. Who foul the Buffaloes from the 20. There is the slant complete to the outside. It is Nelson Spruce who makes the catch. With fields in motion. Lou foul. Wants the deep shot over the middle. Caught. It's Nelson Spruce. He's down at the 31 yard line, signaling timeout. Clock stops as the chains move. Timeout will be granted. Gonzalez will have a chance to win it. Timeout, Colorado, second of the half, 30 seconds in length. We talked about quarterbacks making big plays. Sefa Lufau does a good job of just hitting the dig route of Nelson Spruce. We talked about his ability to be a great possession receiver. They just run a clear out the middle of the field's wide open, and Sefa Lufau drops his biggest pass of the night. Set it.